I loved how you really dive into this villain versus victim dichotomy and the fact that there aren't many spaces for women to exist somewhere in between, which is really where the majority of us are. We're dynamic, we're well-rounded. Being forced into this character, um, it's really interesting that you share your journey of how that made you feel and how you fought back and, and reclaimed your story. So let's talk more about your book, She's Unlikable and Other Lies That Bring Women Down. I loved it. It was such a refreshing and relatable perspective on what it's like to be this modern South Asian woman who's ambitious, smart, and driven, but the world keeps judging you every time you demand to be met at your worth and life throws unexpected challenges at every corner, especially when you're trying to find love. I especially like that it wasn't this trope of toxic positivity. You share how you found ways to persist, survive, and thrive despite it all, but you also shared and normalized those moments of doubt, fear, and anxiety that plague all of us. Tell me about the emotional journey and creative process of writing a memoir in your first book. Did you find it cathartic or healing? The book writing process was was quick for me. It, it flowed for me. I think the entire book took me about 20 days to write, wow. um, but it doesn't mean it wasn't hard in so many ways. There were so many things I hadn't processed about the way that I felt. I hadn't processed the, the way the temperature felt that day, or the way that the smell of the room stuck with me, or the way that a certain look from someone changed the whole atmosphere. I had just moved through it. And there's so many things in life, a majority of things in life that we just move through. If I asked you to process last week, you probably can't. You moved through it. And so the book writing process kind of gives you this moment where you are no longer allowed to just move through an experience. You have to process it, relive it, and then share it word by word in a way that would even make sense to a reader or a viewer of the show. Um, and I found that oftentimes difficult. I didn't want to go back and, and really find out that I was betrayed. I thought I was angry, but it turns out I was betrayed. I thought I was sad, but it turns out I was deeply disappointed. It turns out a lot of things when you're writing. And um, I think that was the most challenging part, but also the part where you're right. It was a catharsis. It was healing. There were tears. I had to sometimes put my laptop away and really just sit in the feeling before I could write it. Um, and I think that was a beautiful experience in hindsight, at least. Absolutely. I think that's so brave to sit with those feelings, even if they're uncomfortable. 